Can y'all hear me? I'm behind the camera. I know we're about to go live in a minute. About to do some Qigong together. But let me know if you guys can hear me. Type it in, somebody. What up, Haley? Hey, right on. Okay, cool. Is it clear? Awesome. All right, we'll, go, we'll get started in the next minute, and then I'll come out in front of the camera. Right now, we're at Juneteenth. We're in Oakland, California. For those who are out of state, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Juneteenth at Mosswood Park. We'll do a little bit more panning before we get back to uh, getting started with Qigong. Hopefully, you guys will be able to hear me from where I'll be standing. But in the meantime, enjoy the view. at that corner over there and I'm gonna get started now it's 5 30. So, just keep you framed uh, let me know what people are saying on there yeah am I framed yeah but you're small what about here there I can see you there okay can you see my feet I can see your feet you can see my feet yes okay great so I've been asked all right I'm gonna do it <laughs> okay, I'm going to take this off while I'm talking to you guys so that I'm not muffled. Now, I've been asked by Haley to talk about Qigong and to be able to provide some solidarity about the movements and introduce you guys to something new. Uh, for those of you who are Chinese medicine practitioners, you will probably be familiar with the concepts of Qi, being able to cultivate this concept of Qi, and the idea that health is based on the quality of Qi. So, Qigong is a Chinese expression, and it's really a representation of something much bigger. But to break down those two words together, Qi crudely means life force, Gong comes from Gong Fu, and Gong Fu means something that's cultivated over a long period of time. So that means that you're learning how to create a relationship between your movement and your breath. That's the whole concept behind Qigong. Qigong, actually, another word for it is called Dao Yin. Dao Yin is one of three. Dao Yin, Tugu Nashin, and Yong Shen. For those Chinese medicine practitioners, for everybody else, it's about lifestyle refinement, it's about the movement and breath relationship, and the last one, Tugu Nashin, is acknowledging and being able to release that which does not serve you. Louder. Louder. Oh, make it loud. Well, okay. Let me see. Let me see what I got for you guys. Let me see what I got for you. Is that a little better? Can you see? Can you hear? Go ahead and speak up louder. Okay. So there are three principles that are in play when you're thinking about Qigong. You have Dao Yin, Yong Shen, Tugu Na Shen. Dao Yin is the relationship between movement and breath. Yong Shen is lifestyle refinement, being able to figure out how to do the least amount of effort to get a job done. And the third is Tugu Na Shen, which is letting go of things that no longer serve you in order to grasp the things that can. So that means old habits, old ways of being, old philosophies, old mindsets. These are all included in this ancient philosophy that comes with Qigong. It's an all-encompassing lifestyle that it provides. And so what I will be introducing you to is the principles of roots, trunk, branch, elbows, stem, wrist, and leaves. And that relationship above can also be below. Roots, trunk are the hips, branch, knees, Stem. The stem is the ankle and the leaves are your toes. All right. How we doing? How's everybody? Let's check in before we get started. 
Are there any questions that need to be answered? Any perspectives that need to be shared? Anything? Uh, you have to come look. All right, I'm gonna go read your message, hold on. It's hard to hear, can you come closer to the camera? That was before, then he said it's better. Okay. Awesome, so this is better. Here, let me try something else also. I'm gonna take this dead cat off. This is called a dead cat, for those who don't know. On a microphone, it's supposed to block out wind, but it could be blocking out my voice because it's not super windy. I bet it's probably better quality now. Says we're good, excited, thank you. Okay, great. So now, to get people started, we're gonna just go through some very simple basics that'll set you up for success with the roots, trunk, stem, I'm sorry, roots, trunk, branch, stem, leaf. Roots, trunk, branch, stem, leaf. Starting from our root, feet are shoulders width, and it's very gentle. We're leaning back and to the left. Rolling forward, other side, making a circle. The smaller and slower, more intentional, the better. Feel what catches. Is it easy to do? Is the movement isolated? Other way. This is just the waist, and the waist is at the rib cage, not at the hips. The other thing that we can do while rotating is keeping our face pointed forward. Rather than doing this kind of stuff, stay facing forward. Try this on a public train and see what kind of looks you get. Okay, so next, just pat, rub it out. Next, feet in the same position. Right hand up, rotating. Switching the hands, rotating. This one's called cloud hand. Right now, we're not gonna be going through any particular form. We're going through ranges that will improve our roots, trunk, branches, stems, and leaves. Now, extra credit. If you can, reverse it. If this is challenging, welcome to your body. Good. Pat it out. Rub. Okay. Now, we've gone from the roots. We're gonna go lower body first, then upper body. So we're gonna go to the hips. For the hips, we're gonna stand a little bit more than shoulders width, and we're just gonna gently rock. But rocking, I don't mean kinking at your side. I mean literally keeping your back as straight as you can and feeling that push and pull. So I'm holding on to my rib cage, and I'm pulling, and I feel the pull on the inside of the hip. Coming back to neutral. Moving from the Dantian. The Dantian is the space just below your belly button. And when you move in Qigong, everything originates from this space. So even when I'm rocking, I'm moving from here. When I straighten up, moving from my hips. Good. Next, from this stance, take a natural step forward with your left foot. Stepping forward, pressing your knee toward the toe, straighten your back. This here is called Gong Bu, or a forward stance. Now, if I do it this direction, you will see that I'm not on this angle here creating a straight line this way. I'm actually pressing this hip down, it's pressed downward, and my knee forward, and I'm sitting upright. This is the posture. Feel that pull in the anterior, if you like, you can raise your hand, like give me my money, and then sight and come up and over. Up, and you should feel a pull just from here. Let's just stick to this, from here. And back. This is your horse stance. 
Now, we just turn out the right foot, pivot, same deal. Pressing, not leaning, pressing with the hip, forward, reaching. Feel that pull along that whole front line. Extra credit, press your knee further forward. Heel is down. If you notice, my back foot is flat. It's not up. I'm not on the side of my foot. It is flat. My heel is down. Why is the heel down? So that I can drop into a stance at any time. Because I'm grounded. Okay, so we're going from gong bu and reaching. Coming down. Back to neutral. Reaching. This is a dynamic stretch for the hip. And you all are able to get the upper body also. So, we've gone through our waist with our circles and our twisting. We've gone through our hips with our rocking and our stance work. Now, we're gonna get to our knees. Actually, I thought of one more exercise that I think is for the more advanced practitioner. We call it churning the butter, and it's gonna be a challenge of your endurance, your balance, and coordination. So, you're going to stand, shoulders width, shift your weight to one side, scoop up the leg, turn the toe in, down, out, up. You see how my hands are out to help balance it. In, down, out, up. Smooth it out if you can. This is great for any person who may have hip pain. Any person who may have a decreased range of motion and being able to step over stuff or bend down to pick things up. Reverse, knee up, toe in, out, and down. Only need to do a few because this can be challenging for those if you're not prepared. Up and step, other side. Bring up the foot, toe in, down, out, up, down, out, up. Smooth it out. Reverse from the down position, up, out, down, in, up, out, down, in, up, out, down. Smooth it out. We're churning the butter. Good. Bring that foot down. For an example, that can be done on multiple planes. So we did it in the front facing plane. It can also be done out. It can be done to the side. It can be done from behind. So all of those ranges are available on both legs. And highly recommend those kinds of exercises because it's dynamic and it will help your whole body be able to coordinate with itself and you have more awareness of what your range is and what you're capable of by eliminating the things that you know you're not going to be capable of. Why take on parkour in your 40s when you can take on qigong and do it till your 90s? Okay, so now that we've done hips, waist hips, now we're going to our knees. So root, trunk, branch. Bringing the feet together. Everybody probably knows these. Circling the knees. But we're going to get fancy and we're gonna have a whole lot of different things that we can do because the knee is not very special like the elbow. It only has two things it can do. It hinges, opens and closes. That's it, it's an in-between. All the fancy stuff we can do with our legs and arms come from our shoulders and wrists. All right, other direction. Next, a few more times in this direction. Coming back to neutral, out. If you can't dance, you can now. <laughs> and I'm doing this in front of all these people. You think I give a shit? Dance is enough. Reverse it. That's the whole point. It's about having fun. Qigong is really about making life a game and enjoying it at all costs. Good, next. Our knees have been wobbled. We're gonna take from a shoulder's width, from shoulder's width, just take a natural step forward, place your hands on your thigh, but we're not leaning on the thigh. There's no weight bearing. It's all in the stance. 
in here, you're going to take the tip of your knee and you're going to trace a circle around your big toe. Do it clockwise. And the hands are there to remind you how many muscles it takes to do this movement and to embrace our bodies for what we're capable of. And we're going to celebrate the fact that we can move because not everybody is capable. And it's something that we all take for granted until we don't have it. Reverse it, circling out the other way. We're only going to do this a couple times. Next, figure eight. Making a figure eight. Do that a couple times. See how well you're coordinated to feel what a figure eight takes when the muscles fire in your leg under your hand. Good. Other side. Natural step forward. Hands on the knee. Circle again. Out. Figure eight. Good. Next, pat him out. Padding helps to bring circulation. It should sting a little. It should sting just a little, but if it hurts too much, then you're your own therapist and it's your own fault. Only do it to your own comfort level. This will help improve the circulation in your knees after doing these exercises. You can bring it up and start patting on the hip and you're able to start opening up the circulation in your hips and in your back and in your waist by patting these areas that we've worked. Good. So we've gone roots, trunk, branch. Now we're on to the stem. The ankles, point the toe, flex the toe. Point and flex. When you notice I'm doing it on one leg, challenge yourself. If you need to, you can hold on to something to break. Then, rocking in and out. In and out. Circles. Circle out. Circle in. Keeping that leg up, step back slightly. Press. And roll. Again, show you what it looks like here. Step back. Step here. So that was me demonstrating what it would be like from behind with that ankle exercise. So on the other foot, pointing, flexing. You guys can see me? Everything clear? Somebody says, oh, feel the burn. Feel the burn, that's right. Welcome to your body. Pointing and flexing. Somebody said, twerk it out. Twerk it out, you already know it. Bay Area life, baby. Rocking the ankle, back and forth, circle out. Circle in. It's so funny, the things that we take for granted. Like the fact that I've been standing on one leg talking to y'all, watching people walk by. I'm multitasking. But again, with Qigong and Tai Chi Chuan and all the Chinese arts, it integrates into your daily life. So it doesn't matter what you're up to. You can just be who you want to be, how you want to be. We're going to rotate the ankle from behind, put a little weight on it, one direction, other direction. Good. Good. Now, just shake it out. Shake it out. Because I'm outdoors, because I got my shoes on, the leaves, there's some exercises you can do for your toes, and I'm just going to explain them to you. Because this is a great one for any person who feels that they're klutzy when they walk around or they tend to stub their toes. You gotta have a little bit more awareness. If you, if you can feel your toes, then you might be able to do something before you damage them. So what I'm gonna recommend is that you lay down a towel on the ground and you're gonna scrunch your toes and pull that towel in and scrunch it up. And then flick the toes to push the towel back out. You keep doing that on a regular basis, even if it's once a week at the beginning, you will notice a huge difference in your toe dexterity. You will have better range with your feet. And in Kung Fu and Qigong, everything starts in the feet. 
And that's why we did our lower body portion first. So now we've done our roots, our trunk, our branch, our stem, and we had our leaves explained. So now we're gonna take it back to the upper body. We have our root and we know our exercises here. Keep it real basic. Root, now for the shoulders. The shoulder is really dynamic like the hip. It's a ball and socket joint. So that means that we have all kinds of cool creative ranges that we can do with the shoulders. But we gotta protect it because we've got tendons and ligaments in there that may not appreciate the range that you may be capable of. So we're gonna start off on a really basic, 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 basic up and down. Now when you're doing this, I want you to check in with your collarbones of all things. I want you to check in with your collarbones of all things. When you're coming up and down, you should be able to feel your chest descend as you raise your shoulders up. If your shoulders are too far forward, when you raise up, you'll feel pain in your collarbone. If your shoulders are too far back, you won't be able to pull your shoulders up. So proper positioning of your body, a neutral, just up and down. Up and down. Next, forward. We're gonna alternate forward and back. And this is the basic stuff, y'all. Don't think that this is my only gear. I'm just making it easy on y'all. Feel me? All right, rotating in. Now, both shoulders rolling in. Back. Now, what you're gonna do, you're going to make a fist and place your thumb right on top. And you're going to raise up, keeping the shoulder packed. Up, making circles. You notice my right hand here, or I'm sorry, my left hand is here to give me a marker. If I bring my shoulder up, I'll feel my scapula move. If my shoulder is packed down, I will feel the engagement. Make sure to circle in both directions, then bring the arm down in front, circle out, in, bring the arm across, circle back. You wanna pull up? Yeah, come on up. You can come around that way. Circle back, circle forward, now here's a fun one. Back, you notice that my thumb is down. Circle back, circle forward. Doesn't take much. Next, shake it out. And compare one side to the other. Can you feel the difference? Can you feel the work? That one exercise makes all the difference. If you get me. Next, we're gonna continue that same process, making the fist, pointing the thumb, come straight up, over the head, packing the shoulder, circle. Oh, while you're doing this, make sure that your elbow is locked out. The straighter your arm, the better, so that there's no compensation. We don't want other parts of our bodies recruited to try to recreate this motion. You know, something like this or something. Lock that arm in. Lock that arm in place because now it's isolated to the shoulder. Forward. To the side. Forward. And of course, our favorite. Thumb down. Circle. This one you don't need a whole lot of reps. Shake it out. <laughs> okay, now for the shoulder, let's see. I'm thinking, I'm gonna teach you a more advanced one. I'm gonna show it to you. If you can't do it, that's fine. I'm just gonna demonstrate it so you can see it. So, we call this the transformer. And you drop the shoulder in, rotate, reach out. And it can be done with two sides. This is the whole shoulder girdle. Somebody has you in an arm bar, you can 
get out of that arm bar. There's so many different applications to Qigong. It is truly a master key movement alphabet. It's an alphabet of master key movement. Just let your arm swing now. It doesn't take much with that exercise. A transformer can really damage your arm if you're not doing it properly, but it also can cause pain just because it works so many aspects of your body. What's up, bro? Yeah. Live streaming. It's okay, you're not disrupting. That's the whole point, right? I guess it's natural. Yeah, exactly. That's a fresh shirt. Yeah, where'd you get that? Is that Ethiopian? I don't know. Oh, it's, it's, it's culture. That's what That is legit. Here, here for a second. Check out this fellow's shirt. Look at the pattern on this. This thing is beautiful. It's kind of Happy Juneteenth. Yeah, you're talking to Portland, Oregon. Oh, Portland. Portland. What's up, Portland? Yeah. How you doing, Portland, man? Oregon? Oregon. Oh, now, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Peace and love, y'all. I'm Zeke. Happy Juneteenth. Keep up the fight. Daniel, yeah. Okay, we're gonna do some more transformers. It's all about community, y'all. It's all about community. Transforming. That's jamming the shoulder forward, rotating over, and turns up, supination, reach out. You should feel a pull in your palm. Rotate, reach. Rotate, reach. Good. Let it swing. All right. Shake it up. Millionaire says, huh? love it. Millionaire says, love it. Here. Oh, cool. Hey. All right. So now we're, we've talked about our root, our trunk. Now we're onto our elbows, the branch. So because the elbow is a very simple hinge joint, we have one basic exercise. And it starts like this. You bring both your arms up and you go high. You say high. And then you straighten your arms out and feel that lock out and go, yeah. All right, so let's do that together. Hi, yeah. Hi, yeah. I hope that you guys aren't taking this serious. But this is truly what the range of the elbow is. So there isn't much more that we can show you other than hinging. But I will show you some dynamic ranges now with the wrist that will help to strengthen the elbow. So if you know somebody with carpal tunnel or tennis elbow or any person who has problems gripping their hands, gripping with their hands, this is a good exercise for them. So hand out, where's my money? Other hand goes underneath. The thumb goes between the pinky finger and the ring finger. You use your other fingers to grab your thumb. You bring your pinky to your the middle of your chest and twisting gently, you are your own therapist. If it hurts, it's your own fault and you're just going to pull away. And relax the tension. I like to do it in a circle. Because this is this is medicine right here, especially if you're able to twist and hold the further down you can go the better To get out of it. Just rotate the palm in your hand and relax Now the other side of that instead of palm up palm down this time awkward turtle Thumb goes just past the pinky and we're reaching on the inside of our hand here and now we are kinking the arm and dropping the elbow this is going to work out the outside of the arm so if you know people with tennis elbow this is money this is cash money who needs a brace when you can do this kind of exercise okay well you may need a brace afterward because you probably haven't been doing this long enough for your tennis to be strong enough to never have to deal with it but that's beside the point good rotate and let your arms swing now before we move on i want you to compare one arm to the other and see if that dynamic stretch didn't have some kind of impact on you and if so welcome to your body if you're able to keep up welcome to your spirit and if you're going to take this on and you're not able to, and you're able to not have to overthink it welcome to your mind just feel it there is no real right or wrong way of going about this there's just 
improvement of wherever you are at, all right? So don't beat yourself up if this is challenging. With that, where's my money? Thumb goes back behind the pinky, reaching for the thumb and twisting and pressing away. Twisting and pressing away. And this is a great exercise for anyone with carpal tunnel. You'll feel that pull on the inside of your elbow. And that's what you want. You want to be able to get some circulation into that space. We're going to rotate the hand inside the palm. Let the arm rest for a second. Then, palm down. Reaching over, thumb. Goes underneath the pinky. Grab the fingers this way and dropping the elbow. Now this, this stuff can hurt. Don't do it so hard. If it hurts, go smaller, go slower. Hold it for a moment and just sit with the sensation. Experience that. This here is our exercise for our stem. This is a wrist exercise. Now, shake it out. Ugh. Feels so good. Ugh. Next, for the wrist. Go away, go away, go away, go on, shoot, go away, go away. Actually, no, come back, come back. This is a good way to open up our our, our wrist by vigorous movement. No, no, come here, come here, come here. No, 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 no. Actually, I, I thought you were someone else. Pinky to thumb, you're waving. And you should feel, you should feel that flinging back facing yourself. Then, let it go, just crazy, just shake your hands out. Shake your body out. And take a moment to just stand. Let the work integrate. Check in with your breathing. Of course, I didn't. I haven't gone into the philosophies behind the Qigong breathing since there is specialized breathing. But if you want to know more, just check out my website, Organa.com. There's some breakdowns, and you can always reach out to me, and I can give you the nitty gritty. But for today, this is more of like the calisthenic side. This is more your 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 improved circulation, good circulation, good health, long tendons, long life, healthy body, healthy mind. That's what we're working on right now. When you can smile, you can heal. These are all Qigong philosophies. And now, um, I wanna keep going with these exercises so that the burn doesn't go away. But again, give me that money. Next time, this time, you're going to pull back your fingers and you let go of your pointer in the middle and gently bring the ring and your pinky finger down and straighten your arm. This is a stretch for those who have carpal tunnel. It doesn't have to be a big, deep stretch. You just need to feel the work. Then slowly let it up. Let the arm down. Other twins. Then bring your hand up, palm down, stop. Reaching, let go of your pinky, let go of the ring, grab the middle and the index, and you're gonna just bring these fingers back straightening the arm and tucking the elbow. This is really gonna stretch out that carpal tunnel side, but also you'll feel it. The carpal tunnel side's the inside of the elbow, tennis elbows on the outside. You'll feel it on both sides with these exercises. And you just gently let it out. And before we go on to the other side, just compare one hand to the other. Open and close your hand gently. If one feels different, welcome to your body. If you can't tell the difference, welcome to your body. Thank you for participating. Next, other side, palm up, reaching down, letting go of the pointer and the middle, cranking, well, don't crank, just gently pull back the ring and the pinky finger and feel that stretch. Some of you may feel a stretch in your palm. Some may feel it in their forearm or their elbow or their shoulder or their neck. That's for you. There is no correct way. Whatever you feel, welcome to your body. Good, slowly let up that hand, let your arm rest. This time, calm down, stop reaching. Pulling back, let go of the pinky finger, let go of the ring. Holding the index and the middle finger, just gently pull back and tuck the elbow. Should feel the work happening. 
extra credit, you can open and close your hand. That's one of my favorites, but that can hurt if you're not used to it. And relax. Good. Next, open your hands as far as you can. This is for the leaves. We use our hands so often for so many things. We need to keep them strong. Spread as far as you can. Spread, 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 spread. Then close your hands as tight as you can. Tight as you can. Then flick your fingers open and grip. Open, close, open, close. If you can, do it with your arms straight. And you can focus on flicking or grabbing. And alternate, you can go one, two, three, four, five. 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 And eventually, you get the flick sound and, and the grab. And that's what we're working on. As a massage therapist, I gotta have strong hands, right? And I wanna be able to keep up with my community and I wanna take care of my folks. So these are the exercises that I do on a regular basis. Those is, that was our roots, trunk, branch, stem, leaf. On the lower body, root, trunk, branch, stem, leaf. Upper body, root, trunk, branch, stem, leaves. So now that we have that, there's also a head segment, but we're not gonna get into that. The next thing that we're gonna do is, uh, and if you wanna know more about the head segment, then just reach out to me. Just check out my website, go to the contact page, and I, I encourage you to just reach out because I love being able to have these conversations because I learned something new and being able to share what I understand with others who are curious. All right, so now we're gonna get into some more dynamic lower body exercises. So starting with our feet together, Stepping out into a wider stance, now we're in a horse stance. From this posture, what you're going to do, you're gonna check in with yourself. Your chin is tucked, your neck is long, back is straight, hips are tucked, knees are bent, feet are flat, toes pointed forward. Just hold it for a moment. If this is challenging, welcome to your body. If it's difficult, go deeper, or you can go less. But either way, don't straighten your legs. Stand. Next, straighten your right leg, staying at the same height, shifting back and forth fluidly. No rotating, just shifting back and forth. Good. Back to the middle. From this posture, maintaining the same stance. We have not coming up. We have not come up yet. Make a big circle. Then. How y'all doing? How you feeling? Leave a comment below. If you're enjoying yourself, make sure to show some love. Someone says feeling that one. Yeah. Another one says, can we close in the meditation? And we will close with the meditation. Then, jump, feet together. Good, and shake it out. Now, we have, um, we have a standing meditation in three different postures that we will go through now. And this here is a, uh, it's called um, Chum Chum. Jum Jong or standing like a tree. That's the Cantonese name for it, Jum Jong. Um, so we'll just get into that. I'm gonna start this way. I wanna give you the principles of Jum Jong so that you can take that home with you and you can practice it on the regular. Now, chin is tucked. Ears are in line with the shoulders. Back is straight. Neck is long. Hips are tucked. You notice that I can be sway back or I can tuck my hips. The best way to understand it is if you are about to sit down on the toilet and you look back and realize, oh, the toilet seat is up. And that tuck, that's what you want. But just don't put too much on it. Stepping out to shoulders width. Turning back this way toward the face, you guys. We're going to bring our hands 
just below our belly button. And I want you to visualize that you are picking up one of your most loved children that you just adore with all your heart. It can be imaginary, it can be your own, it could be a younger sibling, it could be a niece, a nephew, a cousin, a friend's baby, any kind of baby that you love, you're about to pick up this baby and we're gonna slow down the moment. And that's the kind of body posture I want. I don't want you to be rigid. Who picks up babies like this? You know, they typically don't get good feedback from, from the child. You gotta relax, just loosen up like you're picking up a kid. Like, oh, look at that baby, hi there. Oh, I just love this baby. That's essentially the posture that we're going through. And we're just gonna slow it down in three seconds. So starting, feet are shoulders width, toes are pointed forward. Your feet are parallel, knees are bent. Hands in front of Don Tim. Tongue on the roof of your mouth and breathe only through your nose, into your belly. up to level with the collarbone level to level with the collarbone you're now bringing up this baby and you're looking the baby right in the face oh what an adorable baby Now we're gonna bring this baby up over our head. We're gonna give this baby a little belly love. And we're gonna just pause here. Thumbs level with the corners of your eyes or your temples. Arms stay in the same position. Back is straight, neck is long. Shoulders are relaxed. You notice my shoulders aren't up here. They're down. Why lift weights if you can't hold up your arms? back down to the collarbones. This is an exercise of endurance. If you're participating, good job. If you're observing, great job. You get what you put into it. That's the beauty of this. There are no secrets. You can tell everybody what to do. It just comes down to if they're gonna do it. That's pretty universal. We're gonna allow our hands to come back down to the dantan, just below the, be the belly button, or the navel. Come down to your sides, arms out, palms down, keeping the back straight, hinge to your right, from the hip, back to neutral, hinge to the right. Back to neutral, arms come down, Shifting your weight to the right, bringing your left foot in, 
right hand in a fist, left hand flat. Thank you. That's our Qigong session. And I'm here now for some questions. If you guys have questions, that's the end of our session, but I'm more than happy to talk about or elaborate on anything that you guys are interested in. There's a request to be in your next live video. Who's that? Who wanna be there? Hold on. No. I don't know. Oh, wow. Hi. What up? Hey, hey Hi, you did it, Haley. Hey, it was fun, dude. Yeah, it was awesome. I got to come around. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me. I can if I stand like here. I can't. Oh, here. I'm going to turn it up so I can hear you. Hold on a second. Ah. And I think this way. There we go. I'm bad at technology. Like okay. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Thanks so much. This for is that. cool, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm having so much fun. It's amazing. Yeah, we were so inappropriate though, but it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at those people. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay. What was that now? <laughs> we was getting a little bit inappropriate with the <laughs> Qigong, but it was fun. You talking about that toilet seat? We had to turn it dirty a little bit. But you talking fun. about that toilet seat? It's our nurse brain. Yeah, the toilet seat was more like the um, when someone tried to touch, uh, yeah. touch your butthole and you just start clenching. <laughs> that, that, like that, that, that bridge has not been crossed, my friend. No. <laughs> hey. I, but Ron got to feel chi for the first time. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. He was yeah. like, oh my god, I feel it. It was really awesome. It was fun. Oh, I'm really happy you guys could enjoy that. Because, you know, really, good circulation is gonna bring about your own awareness of that chi experience. Like people say, you gotta find chi. No, chi's already there. Exactly. You just gotta slow down and then mm -hmm. you recognize its call. You recognize its signs that it's present. Yeah. And that's what y'all got. So I'm happy that I could bring that to you. Yeah, thank you so much. That this felt, is awesome, man. It felt so good and our bodies loosened them up. We got to feel the chi. And being nurses, our bodies are neglected frequently, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's here. awesome. I'm so happy I could provide that. Well, anytime. We can do this more often if you like. Yeah, it'd be great. I would love it. Um, you should do a YouTube channel, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But thank you, everybody, for participating. Um, yes. I, I don't know if there's any way we could close together in some sort of meditation. Today is a big day in kind of changing the energy shifting. There's a lot of things being activated right now and kind of coming to I don't know what change. happened. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's technical difficulties. Sorry, cameraman okay. touched the camera. Uh oh. Oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> okay. Hi, Jason. Thank you. Thanks for joining. Thanks for participating. Yeah, let's yeah, do it. Yeah, and Oakland says hello and goodbye. It's what up, so Oakland? It's so beautiful out today. Oh my gosh. Today, uh, here, it's gloomy. Like, Oh. We've got some rain and clouds, but that's beautiful. I don't know if you can see, but we're oh, classic and overcast here, unfortunately. Oh, man. <laughs> I see. Well, <laughs> now you guys can get a feel. We got our lovely Mara Ruby here. She's got yeah. her crystals. Oh, oh that's dope. yeah. Awesome. I'm going to call you for our, our, our therapeutic day. Yes. <laughs> so, so you guys can get a feel. So this is what we're up to. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Uh -huh. I know. We need that sunshine right now. Yeah. I felt like cut off from the sun. I know. Too abruptly being in Portland. It's summer and it feels like winter too. <laughs> At least you oh. guys don't have sales tax. We got to pay damn near 10%. I take That's gloom true. over sales tax any day. That's you true. right. <laughs> I take gloom over polar vortex because I'm from Detroit, so I get yeah. it. Well, if you can handle 9.25% on a pack of gum, then my bruh, welcome to Oakland. <laughs> <laughs> okay? <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, that's Where awesome. are you? What park are you in? I'm currently in Mosswood Park. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Very cool. And so, I love it. Yeah, and this is my booth. 
this is what I've been doing all day. Oh, nice job. That's awesome. Yeah. And I don't know if you know about it, but it's like Kangen water. I've been serving up the folks, making sure they stay Ooh. hydrated. Yeah. I had a bunch of crystals. Oh. They got jacked by my mama. Oh, <laughs> mama. jacked by his mama. Don't you even try it. Don't you even try it. <laughs> Gotta love family. So helpful. This is my dad, too. This is our cameraman. Thank you, cameraman. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Appreciate it. <laughs> awesome. Oh, love it. Wow. Oh, Daniel, there's a question. Will you be doing any more live streams soon? You know what? I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I think the answer is yes. Yay! Yeah. Let's do it. You gotta do a yeah. YouTube channel. That's what I'm, that is my biggest goal. I actually have been script writing for a YouTube channel. I just need some teamwork. I just, you know, because right now I'm just rolling with myself. That's all. And yeah. so, mm -hmm. just, you know, having another person to take on some of the challenges would be super helpful. So, yeah, I'm, I'm all about it. I need to get this content out. It's like boiling over. If there were mm -hmm. a fart, I would have indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> take some gas, X. That's right. <laughs> or some Balhawan, right? <laughs> Both show, yeah, that Both was show. interesting. Get this right. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God, that was funny. I know. Oh. Uh, this is great. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I gotta pack up this. What kind of? I'm getting that. Yeah. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Peace out. Peace. Thanks, Have a good one. <laughs> See ya. Thank you, everybody. Bye. <laughs>